Okay, I would like to first express my condolences to the three young people that you see in the back that lost their lives in Iraq. Um, it's quite unfortunate because they died for nothing, okay? Um, and there's people that may not want to hear this, but if Trump was in the White House, these three young people and any other military troop that had died in the line of combat would still be alive today, okay? Um, there's a warmonger that's in the White House, a puppet, someone that the Democrats are able to control. And I hear in the wind that the next puppet might be Michelle Obama. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of y'all that's gonna vote for her if she runs for president, just on the strength that she's Obama's wife or just on the strength that she's a black woman, okay? Now, a lot of y'all seem to forget that in all of these states that's run by blacks, because like I mentioned in the past, especially black women are being used as an attack dog for Joe Biden and the Democrat party. You find in New York, in Chicago, in any place in Georgia, you find that black people are at the top or at the, at the head of these bogus lawsuits against Trump. Right, so black people are being set up to fail. You're being set up for failure. The Democrats are using you to fight their wars, to fight their battles. But yet when you talk reparations, they ignore you. So these three young people died in vain. They died very senseless because, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that these young people were Democrats. I'm sure that a lot of these young people would have called another so-called black American that support Trump, that's conservative. I'm sure some of these young people refer to them as a racist name, as a coon or as an Uncle Tom or as an Uncle Ruckus or as a sellout. But what I find to be quite interesting that the same people that referred to Trump as a racist, the same people that referred to him as the orange man, the same people that helped to put Biden into office, that protested against Trump, that burned down cities and police cars and attacked Trump supporters, these same people now are begging for Trump to come and help them now because like I mentioned in prior videos, the so-called black Americans are being replaced. See, they're just about replacing you now. Why do you think all of these illegal immigrants are coming in and they're taking monies that they could have put in the black community? I remember growing up and I was just talking about this the other day, when in school we had auto mechanic, we had shop class, um, they had what they call central tech where you can go after school for credit, didn't have to pay a dime because the monies were in the schools to fund these programs. We had summer jobs where during the summer, these young kids weren't on the street, but we were working and we were being paid learning some type of trade or skill. Well, all of these programs are now taken out of the schools. And now many of these schools are being replaced with illegal immigrants. Young people in New York City is being told to stay home while they convert the schools into housing or a place to stay or shelter for illegal 
immigrants that the United States government is taking our tax dollars and funding it. See, I don't even know why the so-called black Americans are paying tax because the tax dollars that we pay are not going for our benefits. They're going for people that did not put into the pot. And you guys heard me say that in the past. So now these illegal immigrants are getting free health care. They're getting a check. And you're hearing all these blacks is talking about reparations, you know, that uh, run me my check. Well, you're not getting a check. The people that you supported are getting that check. Remember? You were telling, you were saying that Trump was a xenophobic and he was racist and he was this and he was that. And he was telling you what kind of people are crossing that border. See, these people are not coming in the right way. And the ones that's coming in are not children. Like the Democrats made you to believe these are able-bodied young men and none of them look poor to me. And they're still coming in the border. And in Texas, if you notice, the Biden administration is fighting Texas to keep the borders open. They're not trying to secure the borders because the illegal immigrants they're looking at as their next voting base to stay in the power. And the thing that's mind blowing to me is that Michelle Obama had said in an interview recently that she's really terrified or afraid for this coming election. So you mean to tell me you are terrified and afraid of Trump being in office and yet you're not terrified or afraid of what's happening now? See, these rich politicians they're not concerned or worried because they are, they already have the funds to survive. If they choose to leave this country, they can leave because they have the funds that's given to them by taxpayer dollars to leave you in the hellhole that they created. So it's easy for Michelle Obama to say, um, I'm I'm really terrified or afraid. And from what I hear in the wind, they're planning allegedly to replace Michelle Obama or, or better yet, replace Joe Biden with Michelle Obama. And guess what? The same people that's crying out to Trump right now will vote for Michelle Obama just on the strength that she's a black female and that she's Obama's wife not realizing and ignoring the fact that she has, she's still about the gem, Democrat agenda. Because if she's afraid of the way things were when Trump was in, low gas prices, the inflation wasn't high, we was in no wars. Think of all the stuff that we see happening today. And she's afraid of Trump, but yet she's not afraid of what's happening now. And especially if she's, we have it now where children, underage children can make the choice for themselves to have transgender surgery. She supports that. Michelle Obama supports the abortion of unborn black babies. See, abortion is set up for black women. And black women are gullible enough to praise and accept it. We always talk about what the white man is doing, but what we see happening today is done by black Americans. They're setting you up to fail. So now they're gonna put Michelle Obama in front of you, a little trinket. 
And she's going to get up and she's going to make you feel good with her speech. And you guys are going to feel good because you're looking at the first black woman president. But what is she going to do once she gets in the office, if she gets in the office? She's going to continue the Democrat agenda. See, Joe Biden is being controlled by the puppet masters. See, there's people behind the scenes that's pulling the string, that's controlling him. He can hardly speak. He can hardly walk. But yet he's only doing what he's told to do. And that's what's going to happen with Michelle Obama if she was in office, just to remain in power. See, think about that for a moment. So all of you black Americans in New York, in Chicago, that's crying out for Trump. I remember Trump offered to go to Chicago and the same black Americans didn't want him there. They like protested against Trump coming to Chicago to help you when Lightfoot was in office. So now you voted another black man in office and he gave you his behind the kiss. And I saw this one video where this, this illegal immigrant told this black woman that she was lazy. And he's saying, you don't get no reparations for you. You're lazy. But yet they're now living off of our tax paying dollars. This is what black Americans created when you voted Democrat. And a lot of y'all is still gonna vote Democrat. So I really don't feel sorry for what I see that's happening. It's unfortunate and it should not be happening in this country, but this is what you voted for. And I don't see you going as hard to get Trump in office as you did with the Democrats. See, the Bible describes you as stiff neck and hard hearted. This is how the Most High spoke about Israel. And blacks are the Hebrew Israelites. So you're still stiff neck and hard hearted and refuse to listen to sound reasoning until you utterly destroy. And that's what's happening now. You are being utterly destroyed by the same people that you voted in the office, the same people that you have been loyal to since slavery. And one other thought I wanna mention before I end this video. I keep hearing a lot of black Americans talk about how we built this nation. We built this and we built that and we built this and you didn't build anything. Your ancestors built it. You've done nothing. Everything that black Americans had when I was growing up, you gave it up. Even when it comes to music, something that you're naturally gifted with, you gave that up for voice box, for sampling. And I saw a video um, on TikTok where you had young people of this generation and last generation was listening to some rock music. We're listening to some black music, like the Bee Gees, you know, this white group. And they were in awe because of the fact that how they sang and how they played instruments, it don't exist now. The only place you find that kind of music is in jazz, old school R&B, and uh, country and Western, okay? And of course, uh, symphony orchestra music, they use real instruments, but other than that, R&B is dead. What we knew is R&B, what we grew up listening to is now dead. You rarely hear any R&B and the music is killing you. That music or what you call music is killing you because in that music, 
when I was growing up, you had like this, uh, the hard rock and the acid rock, and I'm off my topic, but they would put like satanic messages in the music. And you could take the, the, uh, the record and spin it backwards and you can hear a message, a demonic message in a demonic voice, right? Well, nowadays they have it right in front of you. They're now programming your mind to be evil. And now you have the can't help it's where you're just naturally acting out evil deeds. And you refuse anything that's considered righteous or that's considered holy. So black Americans are responsible for what's happening in your neighborhoods because you were down with the illegal immigrants coming in. They fed you a sob story and you bought right into it, just like you're going to buy into if they put Michelle Obama as a trinket in front of you. You're going to buy into that. And she's going to get up and speak some nice, charming words. And you're going to vote for her because you like feelings and emotions. It make me feel good. But look at all of the judges. Look at all of the black politicians that's in office and not one black politician, not one black um, attorney general, not one black uh, mayor or one black leader is doing anything for the so-called black Americans, but their whole agenda is to do for the illegal immigrants. They're looking out for number one. They're looking out for themselves and their families. And they use you to get votes. But yet when we voted for Trump, you, you turned your back on us, called us out of our names. So now look at you begging and pleading for Trump to come back. Well, just like you fought hard to get Trump to get Biden in, you're going to have to fight harder to get Trump back in. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.